everyone thank you so much for clicking yet another video and welcome if you're new my name is Sally G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me as I build this clothing brand in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about the manufacturing process I know that when I started out I had absolutely no idea of the process but I feel like it's super super important for you to get an idea of what to expect you when you're on the journey of manufacturing your clothing and that's what today's video is all about I'm also going to touch on CMT factories and FPP factories. I have spoken about this briefly in a previous video which I'll link up here but I'm going to go into it a little bit more and how that relates to the manufacturing process as a whole. So let's get into it. So manufacturing, gosh, this can be equally as an exciting process as it is scary. From previous videos that I've made, you know, you know that my manufacturing journey hasn't been the most plain sailing. But as I have got along my own journey, I have learned more and more about the manufacturing process. When you have knowledge, you're less likely to make mistakes as you go along. So hopefully this video helps you understand a little bit more. So so that you're less likely to make mistakes along your journey. That's the aim. So let's start off with the type of manufacturing companies that you are likely to come across. So it's either you'll come across a CMT factory or a FPP factory. So CMT stands for cut, make, trim. Simply put, this means the factory will cut the fabric that you provide to them. They'll stitch it together and then they will trim like the little threads and just make it so that it's a finished product. That's basically a CMT factory. The advantage of CMT production is that you have full control of the process in every single aspect of it because you're controlling how you want the people to make your garment you're controlling the fabrics you're controlling everything so that is the big advantage of going down the cmt route the disadvantage which you know may not necessarily be a disadvantage to a lot of people that have been in the industry for a while it's the fact that you do need to have a good understanding of fashion and the manufacturing industry and all that kind of jazz so that can be a disadvantage especially if you're somebody like me that had no idea of anything you know I have a engineering degree so I had no idea of the fashion world or anything along those lines so this would have been a really big disadvantage for me so FPP stands for full package production and this means you come across a company that basically does everything they can even like make the tech pack for you if you're lucky they can like you can sit down with them and you know give them a sketch an idea of what it is that you want to create and they can sit there and make the tech pack for you or with you and then you go through the whole process of manufacturing that garment to the finished product the advantage of this obviously is if you're somebody that is not that experienced in this fashion industry you can basically offload all your work onto this factory and they can basically pretty much do the majority of the work for you and you can focus on other things like marketing designing and all that kind of jazz a disadvantage is that you end up losing control in multiple aspects of the production process and also in a lot of instances you are limited to the fabrics that that company decides that they can get a hold of so this can be like a really limiting factor if you go for a full package production company but I always feel like with full package production they do tend to be open to suggestions and stuff like that so it really just depends what company you end up finding so the process I'm going to take you through a typical general process of manufacturing it can seem quite overwhelming but I'm gonna try and break it down as best as possible so you first start off with your design process then you'll go into fabric selection and sourcing then you'll go into trim selection and sourcing then you'll go through a bit of testing then you'll produce your tech pack then you'll produce your patterns then your patterns will be graded then you'll produce your toil sample then your sample then your sealed sample then everything will go into bulk production 
and then quality control. So design, pretty much the same for both CMT and FPP. You design your garment. With FPP, sometimes you can sit down with some of the designers within the factory and they can help you design your product. But typically, I'm guessing you will have your designs anyway. I have a tutorial of how to do a computer aided design using Adobe Illustrator. I will link it up here. So after that, you would wanna go into fabric selection along with trim selection, but trim selection tends to be less important at this stage, but definitely fabric selection because you want to see and understand what fabric is gonna work best for this design. The reason why I feel like you need to do this before you actually produce your tech pack is because in your tech pack, you need to know what fabrics and what trims you're gonna need for your garment. So with an FPP factory, they can send you fabrics that they have in stock because a lot of the time these kinds of factories, sorry, will have like a selection of fabrics that they already have in stock or they'll have companies that provide them particular kinds of fabrics. So that's the good thing about FPP. You don't have to put too much thought into it. And also, especially if you have no idea what kind of fabric that you'd wanna use for example, for a t-shirt, they can definitely suggest what kind of fabric to use or better still you can send them something that's made out of the fabric that you want or a fabric swatch that you find and ask them to find a fabric that best matches that fabric. With CMT you need to do this all yourself you need to actually find a fabric company that is going to be able to provide you with the fabric that you will then go on to use to create the garment. What I like about doing it with CMT is because you know you can go to hundreds and hundreds of different fabric shops and actually source the exact kind of fabric that you want. But I feel like with FPP, those are my notes. <laughs> With FPP, you're almost limited to the stock that they have. So next, you go on to trim selection. So basically the same thing as fabric selection. With FPP, you can get help with sourcing the trims for your collection. But with a CMT factory, again, you need to source all your trims yourself. I personally have never sourced a trim in my life. I don't even know where to start with sourcing trims. Fabric's fine, but trims, yo, I haven't even dwelled into that. And it's because I'm scared. Like I, just, I don't know whether this would be the right kind of zip for my track jacket for example. This is what I mean by if you're going down the CMT route you do need to have a wealth of knowledge. Next we move on to testing. Now testing is almost optional but I like to throw it in there because you want to test your fabrics, you want to test your trims to make sure that they are gonna be right for the garment that you're trying to make. So say if I've gone for the CMT route, I want to test and make sure that this fabric that I've selected is gonna work. So for example, when I got my silk, the testing that I done for that was to make sure that it's real silk. So I burnt it and that was how I tested it was real silk and it was. With FPP, they will send you the fabric. You get to see whether this fabric works for you, whether it has the look and feel that you want it to have. If you want, you can wash it a few times, see how the fabric reacts to a wash cycle, things like that. Once you're happy, you can then go on to make your tech pack. I've got a tech pack video and I'll link it up here but you can go ahead and make your tech pack and this is when you get super super specific about your garment that you're trying to make. So CMT typically is down to you to make your tech pack and in your tech pack you have things like the construction details, the materials and trims that you're going to be using which is why you would have needed to source and test your materials first, your measurement details, size chart and the different colours that you want your garment to come in. So again with FPP you can work with your factory to make sure that your tech pack is how you want it to be but typically in a lot of instances this is pretty much where you would start your journey with your FPP factory or with your CMT factory the first thing they're going to ask you is do you have a tech pack for whatever it is that you want to design so after you've submitted your tech pack or you've got your tech pack created you now have to have patterns created for your garment so again if you're going Going down the FPP route, this is something that this factory will do for you. They will create the patterns for you. You don't even have to worry about it. This is when you start removing the reins a little bit from the production of your garment because patterns is not really something that when you have little to no knowledge about the industry, you're not really going to have knowledge about a pattern. And a pattern is basically the stencil that they use to create the garment. If you're going down the CMT route, <laughs> you need to provide this pattern yourself. So you can either get a pattern made 
maker to make the pattern for you or you can make the pattern yourself or you can buy a pattern online and then the next stage of the pattern is grading the pattern so grading the pattern is getting the different sizes for your pattern with the FPP factory again this is something that they will take care of but when it comes to CMT again this is your responsibility you will need to get somebody to grade these patterns for you if you purchase a pattern online it's likely that it's going to come graded already so now you've got your patterns you can move on to your sampling stage so a toil sample is the first kind of sample that you're going to get and this is a sample that is made out of a fabric that is not the main fabric that you're going to be using for your garment so it's a cheaper fabric and this is just to see whether your pattern works and it fits well and this is the same for both CMT and FPP and once you're happy with your toil sample you can then move on to your sample which they will make using your actual fabric and then you actually get to see whether the fabric that you've selected actually works for the garment that you want to make this is again another stage that you would get the chance to test things out and make sure you are completely happy with the sample this is the same for both CMT and FPP and once you're happy you can then move on to your sealed sample this will be your final sample and this is the sample where it's like yes this is how all my garments are going to come out and this is what you would base your like quality control on this sample as well you can then use this for like photo shoots and stuff so once you're happy with your sealed sample this may have happened before already it really depends on the factory but at this point for both CMT and FPP the fabric and the trims and the labeling and the swing tags and all of that kind of jazz can all be ordered ready for the bulk production of your products so again if your CMT it will be your responsibility to order everything that is needed to create this garment whereas if you're going to go for the FPP factory they can pretty much order all of that for you including the swing tags including packaging it really depends what kind of company you end up finding then your products can be put into bulk production into full-on production and you can sit down relax and wait for your products to be shipped to you but before your products are shipped to you both CMT and FPP it will go through quality control where they will assess all the garments and make sure that they have been made to the standard of that sealed sample then after quality control happens the products will come to you you can do your own quality control make sure that you know it matches the sealed sample that you've received and that's pretty much the manufacturing process it is a lot and i really really hope that this has been clear my <laughs> unsolicited advice <laughs> when starting out of course fpp is the easier option it can be a little bit more expensive because a lot of the time there are minimums that you need to reach when it comes to these companies i do feel like it is the better option when you're starting out because like i said with cmt you do need a wealth of knowledge there's too much it's there's a lot of involvement but what i will say is that a lot of the time you can find companies that are like a combination of both and i do feel like eventually you will end up going down the cmt route because as you develop as your brand develops you are going to want to have more and more involvement in the actual production of your product i know that myself because when i started i was just like i need you to make me a tracksuit using this fabric and that was it but as i have grown i've wanted to have more and more involvement in the production of my product to make sure that they're using the fabrics that i want them to use to make sure that they're using the stitches that i want them to use and stuff like that but that comes with time so yeah i really really hope that this video has been helpful and informative and you've got everything out of it that i wanted you to get out of it it has been a quite a difficult one to film because there is a lot of information that i'm trying to fit into a short-ish video but if you have any questions any questions at all or you want anything cleared up then please drop a comment down below i will comment back to your comment because if you have that question then it's likely that somebody else might also have the same question so yeah please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in my very next video bye